There are no big brand baked beans here, and the butter wouldn't ring any bells, but this is budget shopping, Stelios style. The Greek-born billionaire, now a knight of the realm, has taken the business model from his EasyJet airline, moving from cheap getaways to cheap groceries too. People who are, you know, pensioners, unwaged, on low wages, moving off benefit into a low-wage job, so they're no longer entitled to use food banks. This is what caters for them. Um, you know, a small range of high-quality goods, very, very competitively priced. The range isn't extensive, just the essentials, but for those whose cupboards are bare, this food is affordable. I think we're struggling, whether you're working, even if you're working now, lots of people are on low wage and it's very hard to feed a family, you know? In the local shop, it'd be £1.97. Right, I've got a Freedom Pass. I come here, I can get eight for that. Being a single mum on benefits of two little boys, it's very difficult to balance your money and be able to get them treats and balance food. I mean, I know a lot of the veg is in tins and everything, but it's still veg. There clearly is a market for cheap produce, but how successful is this business going to be? It just doesn't seem to relate to how the market has moved in recent years. I mean, people these days, most people, would want a rather more pleasant store environment, and they certainly want fresh foods. It's a very important part of the mix at the moment. Uh, it's not just canned and packaged. I think they'd want a bigger range too. I mean, fine to come in here, pick up a few products, but then they're going to go on. Whether it works in the long run is yet to be seen. For every Easy Jet success story, there's failures such as Easy Cinema or Easy Car. But with over one million people using food banks last year, affordable food may not be such a flash in the pan.